the race for the title is starting to hot up in the Hertfordshire and Middlesex County's third division as UCS welcomed Thamesians to the University College School playing fields this afternoon. And after a quality win last week against Finsbury Park, it's a UCS side that sees quite a few changes from Will Jones's 15 that played last weekend, but there's still a great deal of quality, especially in the pack. David Cohen, Fraser Warren and Daniel Roach are all in the front row, with Alex O'Farrell and Zach Said in the lock positions. Konstantinos Gerontakis and Labit Dushi are at flanker, with the number eight being Sam Richardson. It really is, though, in the back line that UCS are a bit weakened this afternoon. Luca Raymond will continue at scrum half, but he's joined by Jasper McNally-Drew at fly half. Asher Glynn and Chris Abulu are this afternoon's wingers, with normal wing pair Ben Byer and Aaron Hamilton forced into the centre positions this weekend. Conrad Pagliowski, though, retains his place as the fullback. It's a forward-heavy bench, but no lack of quality with Daniel Hoff, Dougal Johnson-Stewart, Jack Williams, Ahmed Garnham and Joe Young making up Will Jones's bench this afternoon. Can they overcome Thamesians to make it 10 wins on the spin? It's game time. Gold shirts for UCS this afternoon. Is it going to be gold that they will finish with at the end of the campaign? First throw-in of the afternoon. And not a great start, it has to be said. With Fraser Warren sadly not being able to find the target. Thamesians come into this game in fairly decent form. In a little bit of a false position in the middle of the table. They have a formidable home record. But due to player availabilities away from home, they've struggled in that department. But they've gone all out here today, knowing that they're up against the quality side. Team coach having brought them to this ground. And they will be looking to cause somewhat of an upset as UCS go title chasing with Verulamians feeling the heat. No game today for Verulamians as they sit pretty at the top of the table. Can UCS take advantage of that? Been playing exceptionally well. Haven't tasted defeat since September. And again, a win here today would make it 10 in a row. There's a great little burst there from... Thamesians as they look to throw the ball around early here. Really good ball movement, although that's going to be brought back by the referee. Forward pass given by the official. And this is where UCS will have to be strong today. Thamesians have a big strong pack. Luca Raymond who will Put the ball into the scrum. And Richardson, the dominant in form, Sam Richardson driving up the middle. And there's a penalty here, though, for not releasing. And it will be possibly the first opportunity at points here for Thamesians, who will look to their full back, Kieran Morgan. To get them off the mark. Strikes it. Looks as though it's going to dip wide of the post. And it does. So that's a let off for UCS early on. Raymond with a long pass. And Jasper McNelly drew with an offload here. Daniel Roach. Jaron Takis in field. Zach Said will recycle. Are they going to kick here as uh, a little dummy from McNally Drew couldn't get him around the Thamesians defence. They are deep in their own half here as Raymond looks to punt away. It's not a very good one though, it's got to be said. And Thamesians have the ball back. And driving forward is Ben Thompson, their hooker. 
It's a bright start, this from Thamesians. They could have been in front, but they missed the penalty. Just wonder, on a day like this, are missed kicks going to cost either one of these sides if they don't convert? There's a lovely little play. We'll see Thamesians in a good position here. Short pass, and unfortunately, Hamilton's come out of the line. They're going to get the ball away. It's a good offload. They might score here, but a good recovery from Hamilton. As the ball now whipped into midfield. And Callum Godden, who has already made a couple of strong carries already, gets the ball away. Is that a knock-on? The referee waves play on. There's a kick cross field. And is that going to go out of play? No, it isn't. It's a try. Well, just as you thought that the ball would have gone dead, it's a lovely little kick by Eddie Fogg that completely deceives Conrad Paljowski. He couldn't get both hands on it. And following up with the try is Kieran Morgan. Well, not the start that UCS would have wanted. And there's an injury there to Ben Byer as well. Looks as though he has got a real clatter under the chin there and I think if that's a concussion his afternoon is over Morgan converts and Thamesians have the ideal start it's a nightmare start for UCS who not only have they conceded the first points of the game but they've now lost Ben Byer to what looks like a pretty nasty concussion Now McNally Drew will kick. Crossfield. Going to take a couple of bounces. And Hamilton very nearly on the end of that. But Thamesians have come up with possession here. They're looking very sprightly as well. Again, they've come here prepared. Conceded possession here, though. It's a good line-out win by Thamesians. Looking for their second try. There's out the back they go. Are they going to get in? The referee's pulled it back, though. Well, just as they thought they may have been about to score more points, the referee has brought it back. It's really been all Thamesians so far. Very little that UCS have offered. You just wonder whether or not the absentees that are racking up today, the back line... Really depleted as a long kick away. He's going to send Ibulu on the chase, but it will be Thamesians with the throw, although it may be UCS who's stolen that one. So Raymond out the back. With a good drive down the middle as quick ball will look to get Daniel Roach down the middle. It's plenty of support. Coming from David Cohen as well. His experience will be vital today. McNally Drew. That's a good run from Jared Takis. And a penalty though for Thamesians. Well, not the first time that's happened. Again, there are times where UCS have got themselves in good positions, but have ended up conceding penalties and giving the ball back to Thamesians who lead by seven points to nil. Lovely ball out the back as they look to try and get their second try here. This is Connor Jusain with the play and back down the middle. They're rumbling forward here at Thamesians and they're in good position once again. Their scrum half is Will Childs, who is trying to orchestrate the play. As a rumbling run, we'll see the ball come out, and it's going to be kicked away, is it? Yes, it is. Booted upfield, and that's going to put Thamesians on the chase. Raymond's feed, and out the back from Richardson, the kick. Again, downfield will look to put pressure on Thamesians as a really good run here. 
relieving run from Will Knight. But this time it's UCS that managed to come up with the play. So Jasper McNally Drew will punt to touch. They've got USC in a really good position here. Throw from Warren is good. It hits the target. And they're out the back from Richardson. They've managed to stop his momentum, but they're right on the line here. Can they drive their way over? They're so close. Unfortunately, the play has been stopped once more. Penalty to UCS. And again, I think Richardson will tap and go. Looks to get in, does he? He's got in. Richardson scores. His sheer power has driven him over the line. And Thamesians, who've dominated for so much of this first half, may only have a level scoreline to show at the break for it. Richardson again, the main man for UCS. Lovely throw. We are deep in stoppage time here. McNally Drew with a lovely little dart. Can UCS end this first half in front? Well, we're deep into added time here. The ball out to Cohen, who uh, looks to get in. In fact, it's Jaron Takis, I beg your pardon, although Thamesians have stolen it here and a chance for Knight. Knight down the wing is going to be caught. Great hustle by McNally Drew and Paliowski to come back and save the try. But once again, Thamesians who've bossed most of this first half in a physical encounter. And now looking to use that physicality to get them back in front, but they've not managed to keep hold of the ball. Deep, deep into added on time in the first half. I'm sure Will Jones would be delighted to get to half time, although the penalty conceded, which will give Morgan a chance to slot home, does he? Yes, he does. And bang on half time, Thamesians, through a Kieran Morgan penalty, get themselves in front. It's been a half dominated by the visitors, but they only lead by 10 points to 7 going into the half time break. Like this. First half, we're like, oh, we're going to kick, we're going to kick. We spent the whole fucking half defending. Play our game, run it run it at them. We're better than them. Run it. Okay, okay. Let's just that agree. We had what fucking six phases of attack or something, and we fucking translated into, into a three point gap. We spent that whole half defending, and we fucking did it. The amount of times they worked all the way to our fucking line for nothing. All right, we keep it up, boys. We just keep it up, keep the fucking boot on the neck. Again, we'll just take a couple of phases, we'll score again. Yeah? They didn't like that at all. They didn't like that at all. You've got to get them, get the possession, boys. Yes, okay. All right, grab a shirt, grab a shirt. Okay, just have a, have a word with the ref. Just about that first initial tackle. That <coughs> just go out the fucking way quicker. Okay, so on our first clear out, it's struggling to get there because their fucking tackle is taking time to get out the way of the fucking ball. Yeah, sure. Just have a nice word with the ref. Yeah, um, because then hopefully that'll just keep them aware of it. Um, boys, oh, we've been here before, haven't we? Okay, bank lane at home. We defended for 40 minutes and we're going in 6 0 down. Okay, we're going in 10 7 down. Alright? We've put some phases together that have been brilliant. It's just not been enough. Alright? We need to make sure that if someone's going, we talk about our pods all the time. But if someone's going to carry, someone's got to be there quickly just to get over the wall and secure it off. Their game plan is they're going to try and put us under pressure, they're just playing around the rucks. Okay, they're not going out wide. <laughs> they're playing around the rucks, trying to take their dominance, the physical dominance, and they're trying to go past the game line and then recycle and go again, recycle and go again. They don't want to turn this into a rugby match. They just want to turn this in just to an arm wrestle. That's all they want. Okay, we talk about how we want to play and we want to move their pack around. We want to move them about. All right, but we need to make sure when we are in defence, it's been an unbelievable effort for them to have whatever it is, 75, 8% of the possession, and they've gone over once. <coughs> so we need to make sure that when we are in defence, if we have had a crack at the breakdown, we get out and we get in that line. A few
few too many. We've, we've probably got three or four or five in and around the bake, breakdown, even behind the breakdown, not in that line. And if you're in and around that breakdown, it's very hard to get off the line and make the hit. So we're already giving away yards. All right, so this really makes sure we focus on trying to get that there and then push up. If we are going to nudge, which we are, because we want to play in the right areas, especially with that slope dragging away that way, we need to make sure when we are chasing that we're filling the pitch. Even if it's a boxing or whatever it is, we need to make sure that we're coming up as a line. A couple of times they've just made one pass and they've managed to go around us a little bit. That's an opportunity for us. If it's a good kick, we can compete in the air or not. We then try and sack the bloke. They've got to try and get back inside and that's when we can compete for the ball. Okay? But boys, this is a great opportunity. Look, we want to play games where it's a tight game, it's physical, it's hard work. These are the games we want to win. We empty the tank on the pitch now, we do the right things. Look, we've had the ball once in their half properly and we've scored a try. Okay, let's just get in the right areas and then use our carriers. All right? They're so worried about Richie. They're so worried. They're, all they're fucking talking about is him in the defensive line. Okay? He's doing a great job for us and then that will create space elsewhere for that. All right? If we need to slow it down, we can slow it down. Make sure our forward pods are set up properly. If the ball's quick and we get the ball from Jasper, let's go. Understood? Yeah, Boys, it's an opportunity now. This is when we look back in at the end of the season, but fucking hell. That, that performance at the end of that season, that, that performance against Thames is all unreal. But you need to buy into it as a group now, you need to buy into it as a squad and do it together. Front up now. Understood? Off we go. Second half underway as Thamesians, who managed to snatch the lead back just on half time, will now look to put even more pressure on UCS, who found the first half quite tough going. Again, an incredible amount of backline changes. No Diego Garces de Masilla. Ollie Clagg, Ollie Boss, Chris Silk among the back line missing. Mert Zabke not available today as a really good run here by Morgan gets him through. Morgan coming to the full back. He's managed to get the ball away. They surely have to score if they've got the numbers, but unfortunately for Fogg, he couldn't get the pass wide. But they're knocking on the door again here, Thamesians. This would be a good start to the second half for them, although the ball has gone loose referee's going to let the game go on really slow ruck here and UCS have got it back through Richardson once more he's everywhere today is Richardson just as he has been for most of the season been absolutely fantastic in the games he's played and he's the man who has the try that has got UCS back in the game just before the break. And a penalty once again for a rook infringement. And an injury here which will be of massive concern. It's Labit Dushi who's, I think, down. As the penalty is slotted again by Morgan. As he gives Thamesians a six-point advantage and another player that is sadly lost to UCS looks like a potential dislocated shoulder, which won't be too pleasing for Labit Dushi. As Warren with the throw. But again, it's Thamesians who come up with the possession. And they will now make their way into midfield and they're now going to look to go around the outside, are they? Well, I thought they may, and a knock on there, is it? Unfortunate error. Coming here for UCS, which is now going to give Thamesians some field position. A good little dummy and a great straight run and the try here for Arlen Keller. Very little on the tackle from McNally Drew 
wasn't decisive and a straight run to the line for Keller Thamesians may be on the verge of causing a shock here 20 points to 7 and you get the feeling that UCS really do need to get the next score really to stay in this contest this fine run they put together no defeats since September as a cheeky chip over the top has put Hamilton under pressure here they've managed to get the ball or have they well it's now in the retreating phase here they do managed to keep possession though as a straight run here and a great run this is a wonderful play right up the middle of the field and what a run this is this could be an unbelievable try for a prop forward and I think he's got there has he he has Daniel Roach what a try this is absolutely sensational a prop forward from deep in his own half gets rid of three individual tacklers He's outpacing backs here. Everybody flailing, trying to bring him down. A last ditch effort from Childs. Can't stop the score. What a try from Daniel Roach. Just at the time that UCS needed it. Richardson out the back. And Richardson losing his shorts <laughs> somewhat. That might make the bloopers real as Ibulu is out of play on this near side. But all of a sudden they've now started to get a spring back in their step as Richardson may need some running repairs to some shorts here. Roach. Just wonder whether or not another try will actually be any better than the first one that he scored. Absolutely sensational prop forwards try. Showed real pace and athleticism as a ball over the top. Ibulu gets away. Ibulu, he's in. Runs it round as well. And UCS are properly back in business here. Pacey wing play from Chris Abulu. Try on debut last week. Another one here today. Paljowski with the ball over the top. And again the Temzian defence flailing everywhere. And Ibulu running it under the posts. Well a game that was threatening to leave UCS behind. All of a sudden he's in their grasp here as an obstruction surely will be called and there's actually going to be a penalty for UCS here. Well, I just wondered whether or not the referee would have called an obstruction play but he's missed that one and given UCS the benefit of the doubt as McNally drew with a superb kick to the corner and a good throw as well and again they find themselves on the line here again all they need to do really is fall over Richardson looking for another one and they're in here with Zach said well I don't know just how he's managed to get that ball out of the rook and sneak over again Richardson was at the heart of the rook and he's just picked the pocket and dived in. UCS in front. They do not want to let this record go, do they? 24-20. The run was at threat only for so long. But haven't they picked themselves up superbly to get themselves back in front dare I say it the character of true champions Raymond's kick down the sideline finds touch well they've still got time in which they 
need to keep this lead for but this will help a penalty again the scrum collapsing as Jasper McNally drew slots the penalty beautifully and there's a little bit of daylight now for UCS as a short kickoff is very nicely taken well Morgan did it very nice to kick that ball off but there's a penalty here Paljowski not able to release the ball quick enough and Temzians losing it themselves as oh Bedlam is breaking loose here the skies are dark overhead but the light definitely shining on UCS at the moment leading by 27 points to 20 although Thamesians are going to have a go here chip over the top awkward bounce and Morgan has it ball ripped out but it's recycled by Thamesians and this is going to be a real grandstand finish this a kick to the corner and it's just taken out safety first by Luca Raymond trying to get the ball back as quickly as they possibly can Thamesians as they look for what could be an equalising score six minutes to go of normal time you can see Daniel Roach on the sideline without a shirt on yelling his teammates to hang on I'm not sure they have done though or have they referee gives it Addison is the man who scored well, just as UCS look to try and hang on after getting themselves in front at long last. They've let the score slip. And it's Casey Addison that will give Morgan the chance to level the game up. He's kicked it nicely. And it's a 27 all ball game here. Well, I guess the question is, who wants to win it? And Thamesians chancing their arm. Huge kick downfield. Will be collected and easily taken out of play. And that's full time. What a match. Sadly dropped points for UCS. But considering they were 20 points to 7 down to get themselves a draw, may yet be looked upon as a positive. Get in, get a shirt. Great work, boys. Great work. Okay, we, were, we were against the ropes when they scored on the post. But we came out, we started to play our way a little bit more. Okay, quicker ball, trying to take a few chances. And boys, it's come from a few carries. But we've got on the outside arc, we've got outside the tent, and we're going from there. We're not running into the <laughs> players. Rochi, that try, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> but boys, I don't want to be a downer, but it shouldn't take something like that to get us going. You play sport now. You've got to understand what makes you tick, what you need to do. Okay, it might go in it might be going into a ball and just getting clattered and going, right, I'm in a game now. But you've got to, individually you've got to work out what makes you tick and what makes you switch it on. Okay? Because it took a try from him and a run like that. And then you all start bouncing around, you're getting out in the line, you're defending. But that should be happening from minute one. So that's something that individually we can work on. And it's a side to sport where you need to make sure you manage to focus on what you're doing. So then you can put the best performance in. There's only so much coaches and other players can do. You've got to do that yourself. Because we've shown there with a few combinations we don't play with, a few injuries and we've come out and played like that in the second half. Okay, so we need to make sure that we focus on that, work that out individually. So when we do start, if we want to add some things into the warm-up, we can. Okay, but if there's something up there that makes us switch on from dot minute one and we go together. Okay, because that was a team effort in the second half. 
Okay, we started chopping low. We actually managed to turn over the ball a few times. Richie going over the ball, I thought you were awesome. Okay, but it just shows that. I thought our set piece was better in the second half. Okay, scrum and line out. All right, we won the ball a lot more and then we had something to go off then. In the first half, it's not great feeding off scrap, is it? We can't play. It's really, really hard and we put a lot of pressure on people to try and make yardage when we're feeding off scrap. We come together, we start defending, we get up the line and we play from there and we do really well. All right? So that's what we need to make sure that we do. Just have the boys, after being in the position we were, coming back to draw that game, outscoring them in tries as well, getting that bonus point. Boys, that's a serious shift. Joe, I thought we were awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, but honestly, that's, that's, a, that's a massive step again towards promotion. Um, three more games, big shift, and then hopefully we'll get our goal. And well done. that today? Great. Okay. So, I know. Thank you. Another bonus for Joe. Well done. Um, Frozen? On a different day, we would come out winners in that. But rugby wins again. Let's tighten up. <laughs> Everyone, tighten up, eyes up. That's the funniest thing. Thirteen, ready? Thirteen undefeated. Everyone, thirteen undefeated. Ready? Eyes up. Look round. One, two, three. Squeeze. We keep the roll going, guys. Your piece is going to be in about two minutes.